So the next phase or what we're going to focus on here is this portion of our road corridor where we're actually cutting through a rock surface. So the gray area you see here that's translucent through our finish design or our, through our road is where our rock surface is. So we've got some fill in here and then at the other end of the project down in here we've you know we're into uh, cut as well. Now you know in this case it looks like you can tell from here which is kind of nice is that we're not in rock within that area but we are in our project in rock up in here now we do got some cleanup in here to do which we'll worry about later but um, we're going to do another uh, wall over here to accommodate through that rock cut but <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to modify our corridor template to uh, have a one one to one slope through a cut area if it's in rock and a two to one cut area if it's in fill or uh, if it's not in rock so what we'll do is we will go to the corridor and we'll modify this main template so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna edit that now this is the template that we've got running through majority of our project and if I come in here one of the things that you want to do maybe is uh, right click on main and edit and we want to reference in our rock surface so I'm gonna add that in as a reference surface and we can see that gets displayed uh, in our cross-section view here. And we're gonna get rid of those labels, so I'm gonna select this and we'll go to the properties of it. And let's turn off the label so we don't have to look at those. So we'll close that down. And if we look here, you know, as we start at the beginning of the road and we scroll through, you can see that we're, you know, through that retaining wall, we're in, um, in a cut situation here, but here we're not in rock. We're, we're well above the rock, so we're at a two to one, and that's fine. That's acceptable. But as we get closer down to this other end, now we're into our fill uh, area, and now we start getting into this area in here. You can see where we start to move into station 15, we, uh, we start to get into that rock. All right, so we start cutting through that rock. So when we get through the rock, we wanna cut at a one rather than a two, uh, two to one. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a, an instruction and the instruction we're going to add in is a conditional instruction. So we'll come down here, we'll pick conditional and for a description, we'll just call it rock. We'll just call it rock cut. So the condition is going to be if, and the if is if the node is below the surface and the node that we're referring to is node number nine and which is this node right here, right? If that node is below the rock surface, and the rock surface is selected here, we're going to add that condition. It's going to go through and build the, the data for us. So if it is below, what we want to do is we're going to add a side slope, and that side slope is going to come from node number 9. It's going to target the rock surface. And if it's in cut, it's going to go to the one, one, one to one. Um, we'll still keep our ditch, and we'll go to a two to one if in fill, and we will call this rock, call that rock daylight. So we'll add that. And then we'll have to do some other moving around. So now you can see that it's tying in to that rock surface there. So then. You know, maybe we want to add in a, a bench or we want to add another daylight to this here. So what we'll do is we will add another offset slope and we will go from 11 and we will offset a negative 10, let's say. Actually, let's just, yeah, we'll, we'll go negative 5. And we'll put in a slope of a positive 1%. Put positive 1%. We'll give this a name, we'll call it bench. And we will add that. So that's going to put a bench up here, again, under the same condition. So if this condition is happening, we're going to do this. We're going to put a bench in. And then from there, we'll do another side slope. What we'll do here is we'll just cut back out from point 12, all right? Or, yeah, so we'll go side slope. If 
from the bench and we're going to target the original ground surface but in this time because we are going through regular surface here maybe a little bit of rock but we're fine we're just going to cut it back at a two to one and we won't put a ditch in so we'll select zero and we'll just go two for fill and we'll just call this daylight og and we'll add that so it's going to add that that piece in there then we'll add one more condition because we got to tell it what happens if it's not in rock. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in another conditional template and this will be the uh, basically else uh, or we'll say uh, node above rock. And this is going to be the else statement. So you can do, there's a couple other statements you can do, but this will be the else. So basically, if it, if it doesn't meet this first condition here, which is the side slope, then it's going to go down and, and do what's next. So the else, what happens here is, actually, we want this to come up to that one. Because we want that to be part of that condition. And then we want this side slope actually to below go below this condition here. So basically what's going to happen is, is if it doesn't, if that node doesn't fall below the rock, then it's just going to do the normal uh, two to one cut. So you can see now it's not being applied through there. But if I go back to the front, we are in rock, you can see here that it's just doing the um, two to one cut because it's not below the rock. But then as we come down, we get towards 15. You can see here we're, we're in rock and there's a spot right uh, a little bit more. Let's go 1500. Okay, so here we're right at 1500. We're above the rock still. But then as we get into the rock, it starts to change the slope. So depending on whether it's above the rock or, or not, okay? So now that we have that, we can close that, and what we'll do is we'll just rebuild our surface here because now it's gonna adjust for that. Let's go and we'll turn off, well, we won't worry about that, that's fine. That's a normal message. Let's turn off our original ground surface, and now you'll see that when we're cutting through the rock, we have our our bench we have our one-to-one -one slope right so if we turn off the rock here you can see it's a little bit better so we're coming through we're cutting in and then we've got our normal two-to-one cut the rest of the way uh, through the project okay now we do got some cleanup like over here we need to do but that's kind of how or one way that you can add in that conditional template uh, to determine whether you're in a rock cut or above, uh, above or below the rock and have a different slope or a different condition happen depending on what that if or else statement uh, determines.